Asuka beat Charlotte Flair in the main event with a crucifix pin after Rhea Ripley, who was ringside watching the match, got involved. She reached into the ring, yanked Charlotte's arms out from underneath her while she had Asuka in the figure eight. And while she was distracted, Asuka got the win. After the match, Charlotte beat up the referee. She has since been indefinitely suspended and fined $100,000 for assaulting a WWE official. That seems to be the go-to amount whenever you put your hands on a referee. Remember years ago, Sheamus, I think, bro kicked a referee. And I think uh, John Laurinaitis, you know, uh, fined him a hundred grand. They always throw these big amounts out there. Actually, you know what? I take that back. It might have been more. It might have been half a million dollars. I could be wrong. It might have been 500,000. I remember it being such a ridiculous number, though. I'm like, all right, you want to suspend the guy. You want to find the guy. But don't come up with these with these dumb numbers. 100,000, That that's not uh, too bad. But the real reason that uh, this whole suspension angle took place, per Alex McCarthy of TalkSport, is because Charlotte is having some dental surgery done and is going to be out for a little while. And this caused a bit of an uproar this week involving comments made by Dave Meltzer on Wrestling Observer Radio. He was talking about the fact that Charlotte would be taking time off for dental surgery, and this is what he said. She's just having a complete makeover, you know? That's just basically what's happened, so it's one of those things, you know? They make you real subconscious about your looks when you're a woman in wrestling, and it's just one of the negatives about it, but it is a reality of it. And someone clipped the comment and posted it on Twitter and tagged Charlotte. She listened to it, and she wrote this. Yeah, I just listened. I thought Dave Meltzer would have learned his lesson the last time commenting about women's bodies, but apparently I'm fair game. So I get to respond, again, to a rumor about my body, again. You know what? This is when I stop. Dave, go to hell. You have my phone number. It would take you 30 seconds to ask as opposed to giving straight crap to your listeners. Grow up. For you, of all people, to comment on a woman's looks... Do you have any shame, decency, or professionalism left at all? Find a mirror. Look hard, Dave. If Meltzer is speculating on why she is having dental work done, then he should have kept those comments to himself, because it is not relevant to the conversation. Yes, the fact is, Charlotte looks very different than when she did when she first got called up to the main roster. And yes, there are a lot of women in WWE over the years who have changed their appearance to look a certain way. Anyone with two functioning eyeballs can see that. And plenty of men, too, by the way. It is a cosmetic business. The Rock wore a tracksuit for a few months after he had gyno surgery. This was 20 years ago. Roman Reigns came back last year with veneers. Everybody was talking about it for like a week. Jerry Lawler. Have you seen Jerry Lawler's face? I mean, fuck, have you seen Vince McMahon lately? He looks like something that should be standing in Madame Tussauds. Just this week, there was a whole Twitter hashtag dedicated to Zac Efron. And whether he got Botox treatments because his face looks different. I don't know, he looks the same to me, but then again, I don't study photos of Zac Efron all day. Who gives a shit if he did? I wish I could Botox these people's tongue muscles so they would shut the fuck up. Or their fingers so they would stiffen up and they couldn't type. Dave says he was trying to make a larger point about how much more tough it is for women in wrestling when it comes to the sexism and the misogyny Which is true. He's not wrong in saying that. Never forget the AJ Lee story about being told by the head of talent relations in WWE that the higher-ups there thought she was ugly and unfuckable. That's what she said. The exact words were. That she was unfuckable. And I guess, therefore, she would never get over. You think that's the only story of something like that happening? She is not the only one who has had stories to tell. That when you hear them would make you very angry if you did. 
It is a very real problem. He's not wrong in pointing that out. I just don't see how Charlotte taking a few weeks off for her teeth had anything to do with that, necessarily, and needed the expanded commentary from Dave Meltzer. Maybe she's getting her wisdom teeth out. (laughs) Who the hell knows? Or better yet, who the hell cares? Live and let live. But seriously, what what is going on with Vince McMahon? Can we have a conversation about that? What in the world is going on with Vince McMahon's face? Let's get off this and talk about SmackDown week two of Pat McAfee on commentary. And again, I thought he did well. I know that uh, he didn't think he did well in week one. He was very hard on himself. Alexa, I am not talking to you. Would you shut the fuck up? Thank you. 